Hi guys, welcome back to a brand new piercing reaction video. Hello everyone, what is the tea? What is the scolding hot Assam? So today we are going to be doing something a little bit nicer, slightly more positive girls. And we're going to be looking at some nice, fabulous, wonderful, creative, crazy piercings girl. You always kind of ask me to do one of these. I don't do them as often because there's actually not as much to look at, but I thought today we've not done it for a little while. So let's delve into the world of piercing creativity. Also, little reminder, if you haven't checked out my latest episode of Gag of the Millennial Podcast with Luxaria. Make sure you go check that out. There's a link in the description. We did another uh, part of Am I the A-Hole? It's one of our favorite things to do. I absolutely love it. So make sure you go check that out. And of course, please hit the like button because those really help me out. Subscribe and hit the notification bell so don't miss any videos that are coming up. But anyway, let's not beat around the bush, eh? And get on to these <gasps> piercings. Oh, okay. So this is gorgeous. I say, so if people don't know, purple is my, is my favorite color. Color girls, my favorite color ever. I f***ing love purple. Um, so this is, good. I really like this. This looks so good. I mean, I, you know, as you probably know, my personal taste. I don't. I'm not really a massive fan of lip structures, but you know, if that's what you want, live your life, girl. I love all the purple. This is so so lovely. I like the really nice jewelry. I do wonder, like, what would that be like on the inside, and if it really just rub against the gum? Because like having three here in one place, like rubbing there. I don't know how that would feel. I'm assuming this person doesn't really mind because obviously they've got so many, but uh, I do, I love this. I love this, I think it's really pretty. I love the color. I love the symmetry of it all. I think it just looks beautiful. And this is how you do piercings right. And that's the Darjeeling. Oh my God. Okay, first of all, I'm really sad that the end, the rest of this ear isn't on show and all we get to see is just like one little section. This is gorgeous, like absolutely gorgeous. Go what a what what a, what a picture to start this video on. This is stunning. First of all, okay, so let's just let's just let's just digest everything. There's a ghost face right in the center. Then they've got like this lovely rainbow stacked coin slot up the top here, which is just it looks so nice. And they've got the 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 nice industrial bar that's fitted nice to the ear with a nice gem in the middle with a chain that goes all the way to the rook hoop. There is a snake down here in. Is that is that part of the date piercing? I think that's on the date piercing jewelry. And then they have another coin slot here, but they haven't stacked very much on it. Maybe they will. I don't know. I love this so much. This is like my perfect kind of like aesthetic colors. I love pinks. I love blues and I love purples. It's my favorite, my favorite kind of like color scheme. This is gorgeous. I absolutely love this. It looks really well. Everything looks nice, looked after. There are no bumps. There's no like scars. There's not, everything just looks so well looked after. I think sometimes when people get coin slot piercings, they get a little bit too excited about putting things inside the hole and they end up ramming too much in and it just looks really cluttered. We've seen a couple on the channel over the years, but this is actually a really beautiful way of doing it. It's not too much. Oh gosh, okay, so, I mean, first of all, everything looks clean and nice. So I'm not gonna, I, you know, if this is what you wanna do, you be laugh, Gail. I can't imagine what it must be like to have that many dermals around the eyebrow area. I feel like having one eyebrow piercing <clears throat> and washing my face was annoying enough as it is because the amount of times I would knock it and be like, oh for God's sake, that's gonna reject now. So the idea that you've got this many kind of dermals in that area does kind of give me a bit of anxiety, but um, I mean, everything looks clean and looked after and stuff. And I like I like the, the longer bars in your, um, eyebrow piercing. One thing I will say though that I do quite like is the fact that the tops of the, the top, like the tops of the dermals are like screwdrivers. Like you can see they look like holes. So they look like they've been screwed in. I do think that's really cool. I really like that. Little touches like that make it better, girls. Oh my God. Look, look, look at the little monster face. Okay, that's very cute. That is very, very cute. I do like this. It's uh, very neon. It's very candy raver. It's very up my street. I just realized that this is like a shoe. That's like a little high heel shoe. That's really, okay. I love this. I think this is really cool. I love the big stretcher with the two neon wall closure rings in it. This is gorgeous. I really, really like this. I just love the little monster though in the middle of the little monster. Hello, I'm a little monster. Manchi, manchi. And I, I love the fact that I didn't realize, but the, the high heel shoe. So I'm assuming like the heel, like the heel of the high heel, high heel is like the bit that goes through the ear. I think that's really cool. So this was sent to me by my friend. He's been on my channel quite a few times. Um, and look, it's the third nipple piercing. Now, see, we have seen similar things like this before. Never, like, actually, it look, I mean, some of them have been a bit dodgy. This one actually looks really well done. It's, I mean, I, I don't doubt because he's a great piercer. But how interesting is that? I do wonder, like, what it would feel like. How, how many, like, let me just, let me pause it. 
So this is the third nipple piercing. Now I do wonder, because obviously nipple piercings are notoriously quite painful. I do wonder what like a third nipple piercing would feel like. Do, do you think it's as sensitive as it like, anyone here who's got three nipples, is your third one really sensitive like the other two are? Or is it kind of like more docile? Like what what's the tea with it? But um, I think it's really interesting. Like you rarely, rarely see third nipple piercings, but I think uh, it looks cool. <gasps> Oh, look how cute this is. Okay, uh, first of all, the photo, I don't know why the photo on this is like <laughs> some side screenshot. You could have just like pushed the image properly in, but it's like a cat industrial bar. Okay, so that's really cute. So first of all, I want to quickly say though, take note people who want industrial bars and cannot have them because they don't have the right autonomy for it. This is a perfect, perfect, perfect example of an alternative thing you can get that's not exactly the same, but gives kind of the same effect but it's just slightly angled differently because it fits with this person's ear but this one's really cute so the middle bit has like cat ears with the hoop and then the two uh barbells at the end with the where, the where the ball would be is paw print like paw pads this is so cute i love this so much this is absolutely adorable and a perfect way to get an industrial when you cannot have them oh okay so i was wondering if we would see a course by the way a lot of these have been sent to me but thank you for everyone who sent me these by the way sorry i do apologize i thanks to everyone who did send me these um so, you don't normally see guys doing corset piercings. So it's quite interesting to see this. Um, I mean, some of them look a little bit too pulled, but I mean, that's fine. As long as you, you know, do this for a photo and then take them out afterwards and don't try to live with it because this is not something you can live with. I don't know why we've seen so many corset like piercings that someone have left in for a long time and they're all growing out and gross and scabby and they're like, it's so pretty. No, it looks crusty as hell. It's disgusting. Ooh, okay, so this person has. I mean, does this. I actually. Do, Okay, so first of all, before I say anything, when it comes to lip piercings, there are so many names with pairs, triplets, four ways, like, well, you know, this is a name, this is a name, this is a name, this is a name, all four a name, that's a name. And I, I can't remember every single one. There are so many. So every time I do one of these videos and it has like one that I don't know exactly what the name is, I'm like, just give me a break. I'm going to assume this is vertical angel bites because angel bites is when you have them here and here. And I'm assuming because it's like vertical, they're vertical ones. If that's not the right name, I apologize. So Luxaria a long time ago had a vertical uh, gesture piercing. So but like, it's a gesture piercing called, that is the vertical one. But so it was like a vertical one here. So normally like a, a Medusa, so vertical Medusa. I think that's actually the name of it is called gestrum, which is like a, a spike on the end here and a ball here. So it's like a vertical one here. And I always asked her all the time, I was like, doesn't that feel weird when you talk? Can you feel it? And she said she couldn't feel it on top lip. So my first initial reaction to this was, oh, wouldn't you be able to feel that here? Would it be uncomfortable? So I don't know. I, I'm i assuming no, because you know, you wouldn't really get this done if it's going to really be that much of a bother. But I mean, it looks nicely done. We have a tiny glimpse of like a septum and two nose rings as well. <laughs> and they've got bright blue neon nose rings, which I'm like, yes, bitch. I almost feel like it almost gives me a cat vibe. I don't know why. This kind of makes you feel a bit like cat-like. Oh my God. How, okay. How cute does this look? Like, I'm sorry. First of all, like a sun and cloud, like on a sunny, cl a sunny cloudy day with a dragonfly in the conch piercing and then a big flower growing from, um, would it, I'm assuming the sunflower part, like the flower part at the top, well not sunflower, but the flower at the top is a piercing and then the bottom half is a piercing and it's attached together. I don't, you know, you would assume that this part is probably going through the ear as well. I really love it when I see people who actually like do some kind of theming or do some, just something more creative. I mean, I'm not exactly majorly creative with my earrings. I, can't, I was kind of just like, I want everything. But this has obviously been thought out. Like this person wanted like some kind of sunny day with a dragonfly and like a flower growing. Like I love this. I think it's so cute. Okay, so... Let's just, let's just, well, first of all, let's just, let's just address it. Yes, there is a bump on the forward helix. There is a bump. Let's address that. But I do like the way they've got their industrial with the four parts. I mean, there's a bump there, kind of there, but that little bump could easily be taken care of. But this is, I really like how this is done. So they've got two vertical helix piercings with a hoop attached to it. So it almost looks like the industrial that's behind it is ever so slightly attached. It kind of looks like it, uh, if you look quickly, when you really do study the ear, obviously you can see that it's not attached, but in 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 like a quick look, it looks like it's attached. So I think this is a really cool way of doing this. Oh, okay. Okay, so there is, so this is like a, a black and silver, I guess, gothy look for um, piercings. Now, first of all, uh, the jewelry in here is really cool. I mean, I do think the low piercing looks like it's going to be quite heavy, so it might pull through the ear, but I do like it. It's got like snakes. There's like a skull hand coming off with the upper uh, upper low piercing here. Well, I guess like lower, 
Yeah, because she's got so many, it's kind of hard to tell. I think this is this would be like a lower rim piercing. Although I will say that it does look like it's quite close to the edge, and I worry that it might come out as well. Um, but I really do like the color scheme, like the snakes and all the like the skulls and things. I really like that. Um, a couple of these, again, a couple of these look a bit pulled. Like this one at the bottom, so like the the, the middle industrial part looks a bit pulled. I think this is one of those cases where they had an idea and it didn't execute it perfectly. But as a whole, I think it's cool. I think maybe the execution could have just been a little bit better. Um, I think your ear slightly needs uh, a slight remodeling. So, okay, so I think this is probably one of the best healed four-way belly button piercings I've actually seen. It looks nice. It looks clean. There's no bumps. It looks no raised. It looks very smooth. It looks very good. I again couldn't imagine having that many piercings around my stomach because I feel like it would just be annoying. But I mean, looking at this one, it looks really clean. So I do hope that they stay in your body and don't reject very quickly. Unfortunately, when you have this this many, they like they're gonna they're gonna grow out. Like they're going to grow out. You might be one of the lucky ones that happen to keep it, but like, this kind of piercing won't last as long as you want it to. But I do hope for your case that it stays in as long as it possibly can because I do like this. I think it looks really nice. Oh, Oh gosh, we're back to like a really colorful one. Okay, so there's lots of, oh, there's like a bat wing. They've got like a little bat wing on their uh, orbitally thing in the middle. I mean, I don't know what you even call them, but get like that middle bit, like the, the connector. So this is like another version of kind of trying to get industrial stuff and kind of just making your own version. So they've got two vertical helix piercings. I'm assuming that the pink and the pink and the yellow one were probably industrial piercings and it didn't fit properly and they've decided to make this new one because the way that the the pink one is shaped like facing you wouldn't just get your earring face in that direction if it wasn't for an industrial there's no reason to have a face like that because you know it's not the best way to do it and they have like the long green bar that goes straight through the low piercing um i mean i i think I would prefer if it went to like behind, like maybe maybe like goes into the ear and kind of, kind of came out the bottom part here, like underneath the ear, because I think it wouldn't sort of pull the lobe up a bit, but I do like how they've got, got theirs done. And then the other ear, it looks a little bit more sort of gothy, which is cool. The conch piercing is like a heart, but it has like a crown on top. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. I love, okay. So if, if people don't know, <laughs> I do like very uh, spooky things. Halloween is my favorite time of year. I love spooky things. I, I'm, I'm very much of a collector of like horror stuff. And I absolutely love this little golden skull inside the conch piercing cute i love it 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 love it, love it. i need to actually i think it might be fun to maybe do some kind of like gothy halloweeny spooky piercing look if i can try and get like a lot of jewelry that's fun oh it's janessa girls i okay so i have a thing <laughs> i've tried to have my industrial piercing twice both times went bad because my ear just isn't the right shape for it we're talking like 2009 time Anyway, so I love, I love, 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 cool industrial bars. I've always loved them. Um, and I think this is really cool. I love serpent girls. I'm so jealous of people who have the right ear shape for industrial piercings. Honestly. Oh, wow. What? What? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. So this is a very interesting industrial jewelry piece. First of all, the industrial is kind of like sideways, a little bit angled, which is unusual to see, but also very very interesting jewelry what did you go to the like the person to go i really want it to look like this like i wonder how like the real like i wonder how you came up with the idea to having it like this i'm really interested to know that um but that's really interesting so it goes in the bottom curls up goes around like a loop and then comes back on itself like a figure of eight or an infinity sign i guess and then the spikes forward nearer to the entrance hole of the first piercing very interesting i've never seen jewelry like this before a first girl which doesn't happen very often now on my channel but this is so interesting i really wish i knew more about this and like what what happened how it came about the idea behind it because i think it's 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 a first girl. The only thing I will say is because it protrudes quite forward on this side of the ear, like outwards, I do wonder how comfortable it would be if you were to hit it or knock it or sleep on that side. That's one thing I will say. Oh gosh. Okay. So here is another, another interesting industrial bar that I've never seen anything like this before. So it's like, I think what it is, it's probably a long bar with that stuck on top of it rather than that's part of the, yes, because if you look there, you can see a bar underneath it. I think it's, they've, they've, had an industrial bar and then put this on top of it. I love it. I love the gears. The gears go. Gears of industrial piercings. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, see here. This is really... Okay, so like, right, let's play the game now. We always want to play the game. What part of it is pierced? So I'm assuming that the, 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 the flower at the top or maybe this like hoop, maybe the flower is where the piercing is and there's like, oh yeah, okay. So there's another one there. Look, you can see it. Actually, hang on then. So maybe the piercings are the hoop. So the piercings, that hoop bit above it, and the piercing is this hoop bit here. I think that's maybe what it is. And then they've got a, quite a big date piercing. 
um, with a, with a, like a flower on it and a nice opal stud in the lobe. This is really cool. Again, I love I love it when the jewelry is really creative and not just like normal studs. Again, I, I'm just a, I'm just a, I'm just a stud hoop guy, but like I do love it when jewelry is a little more creative. I think this is gorgeous. Um, it's lovely. Oh, it's time for the Sharoom scale. I'm just gonna say it. This is gonna be very heavy on the ear. So if you've got like, it looks quite thin going through the ear. So it's possibly gonna pull through your ear. That being said, I do think this jewelry is really cool. I love it. I, a big hoop with like shrooms growing in the in the bottom half. Yeah, I love it. I do really like this. Ooh, we love a neon queen girls. Okay, so again, this is very, 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 very cyber. Very candy rave. Very happy hardcore. I love it. It looks, this is, I love it. I, I, I do think it's very interesting to see an industrial piercing that kind of goes into the conch like that. I don't think I've seen one directly that kind of just does that which is nice um and again it's rainbow jewelry i mean there was a bump on that um anti-tragus piercing i forgot my anti-tragus done took me a long time to heal it so i do feel you with that one it is a hard one to look after but i mean that bump's not terrible like you can you could easily deal with that again i love neons i love bright colors i love like to be all in your face and again it's the iridescent rainbow oil slick jewelry which i absolutely love this is gorgeous and they've got blue and green hair this looks like someone i'd be good friends with <laughs> oh gosh Okay, so first of all, look at, I mean, just looking at the piercings themselves, they, you know, they look well looked after. Let's just say they look looked after. They don't look gross. I mean, it's a lot. And I do feel like that it's, it's definitely not to my taste. And there's, you know, I feel like you're, you're going to end up with quite a lot of scars in your face because those things will obviously won't last in your face because they are surface piercings. And there's a lot on the eyebrow. And I feel like eventually like they are going to grow out. But if this is what you want. You live, we laugh, girl. I do wonder how comfortable, like, how do you wash your face easily? Because I feel like it would be quite painful to put, like, I don't know. I, I, when I see things like this, I'm always like, I struggle sometimes just having a couple of facial piercings to wash face sometimes and not knocking them. Like, to have this many, I'm like, I don't really know how that would work. Oh, okay, so here's another corset piercing. Okay, so I'm so used to seeing corset piercings done just like the normal back to foot, like back to front, like as a normal sort of almost like lace, like shoelaces. But this is actually really interesting. I've never seen like a proper shape. I mean, some of them, I mean, like this does look like it's getting pulled quite hard. You know, if this, you know, if this is what you want to do, it's fine. I, I am, what, I'm interested to see what this is like. What's this? They got like feathers in them? They've got feathers? in them i don't really know what this is i'm very interested to know what these things are at the bottom here because it's sort of like feathers into the body i'm not sure but it looks cool it, it does look really cool i like i like the slight that i like the fact this is different than what we normally would see with corset piercings oh okay so first of all let's just take the obvious stunning i love the jewelry in the bridge piercing now i think we saw a little while ago there was an eyebrow piercing that had very similar jewelry in it and i think this is really nice i don't know exactly how you would get it in easily it'd probably be a little bit difficult i think it's really creative i really love this i love it when like piercings have like completely different kind of jewelry than you're kind of expecting or used to I love all different kinds of like ball closure rings or like horseshoe bars or anything, but this is very different and I really like that. Well, guys, I'm not aboard that trigger train. I'm not choo-chooing, speeding down the railway, crashing off a cliff or plunging to my death. No goodbye, bitch. Oh, isn't it lovely to do something more positive? I mean, I say more positive. I feel like my videos are very positive, but you know, the whole theme of this video is very positive, girl. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are still watching this video, comment down below. Yes, queen. Um, and so I know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. As always, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos that are coming up. I do hope you enjoyed this uh, happier version of the video. Like I said, I don't tend to do this as often. I know I get requested them quite often, but uh, unfortunately, like, there isn't as much content to react to. There's very similar piercings that look nice and fabulous, but like most of the things kind of are very similar. So I don't get to do this very often because there isn't as much content to react to out there. Unlike the piercings gone wrong, where it just seems to be like this like cesspit of like content just constantly coming out. Like I said as well, if you haven't watched the last episode of Gag of the Millennial with me in Luxaria, make sure you do watch that. Go watch that. There's a link down below. And yes, it was all about uh, <laughs> Am I the Acehole Part 2 loved doing that um but anyway thanks so much for watching a massive shout out to my lovely patreons whose names you can see on the side of the screen here thank you for being my patrons you guys are incredible actually but an extra special shout out to my top tier patrons aurora 666 benjamin baker bethard booster 93 brenna cassie h kaz.thom shell herman christina kyle corin pemberton crafty leaks dark angel 666 diana nida heather mcfarland heather prissy aia jacob joanna Kaur. Caitlin Wright, Kat L, Kelly Bowser, Chloe Louise, Laura Alice, 
Marissa, Nena Marie, Robin Scott, Sam Perfect, Shay Stimson, Sierra Tonabeni, Sefri Tech, and Suz Mac. Thank you for being my top tier patrons. You guys are incredible. Launchly, eh, girls? There's a link down below if you'd like to come on Patreon too. But I'm going to go now. I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.